work is an amalgamation of the frustrations and the overwhelm that I feel with our current um, impact on ecology within this era of the Anthropocene and our general disregard to all non-human animals who we share planet Earth with. It contains a series of elements. Primarily, it's an installation uh, supplemented by two videos and two live performances. The installation consists of an imaginary room created by using blue tape on the ground outlining a rectangular shape and a piece of purple tape signifying a door left slightly ajar, um, signifying an entrance through which I enter when I perform. There are three types of objects in the space. Uh, first, there's actual colorful collection of trash material. Then there are items of trash that have been somehow manipulated by me and are deceiving. So for example, this bag of crisps, which presents itself as a standard bag of crisps, but in reality, it's a painstakingly created acrylic painting on top of it with the exact same illustration of the bag of crisps. So it could potentially be an art object. And the third type of object in the space is the art object. So there are six oil paintings on the ground. Um, they're on wooden panels, square in shape. And then there are also five oil paintings on canvas pages A4 in size, which are studies of a trash archive um, completed through doing a workshop with artist Nolik Malloy uh, and Catalyst Arts in kind of September, October of 2020. Then there's also this structure, which is, again, an amount of plastic colorful trash, which I collected over a certain period of time through working at a convenience store, Belfast International Airport. This piece contains a lot of acrylic paint and PVA glue, uh, and it's sort of a signifier of that time I spent working at that job, because as somebody who strives to have a low impact uh, lifestyle on our environment uh, and low waste. Uh, I tend to avoid buying products with excessive plastic packaging. So even though this is garbage, it becomes precious art material to me. Facilitated by my experience at my job, um, there's also illustrations in this sketchbook which was actually started at the beginning of the first lockdown. In essence, it is sort of a diary. This was purchased at a charity shop. And there's a second sketchbook which enters the space through the second performance. It has a collection of portraits completed through a variety of video calls with family and friends. It has my daily observations, all in relation to the pandemic. It is displayed here in a way as it would be if the exhibition was taking place in real life. So we have a box of gloves here, which the visitors are welcome to take a pair to flip through the sketchbook and then dispose of in this bin, conveniently located next to planet Earth. The performances really activate the space and change it and I am realizing now that this work is very much a living being in itself, even with this 3D painting and space sculptural work, it has changed throughout every iteration of me performing with it and installing it and it continues to change, it's been disassembled and assembled multiple times it's broken apart and then it's glued all back together again. And the space has gone through several points of metamorphosis, it being one way upon installation, 
being altered by the first performance on Thursday and now being altered second time today. Goodbye.